Good day! Today, we'll be talking about word formation processes. But first, let's define what is word formation processes. In linguistics, word formation refers to the ways in which new words are made on the basis of other words or more. In this video, we will be talking about compounding, blending, clipping, and acronyming. Let's have compounding. These are the compound words that may be written as one word or as two words joined with a hyphen. And it blends two or more words to build a new meaning. Let's have samples of compounding. Here we have two words, super plus market. When we join them together, we have supermarket. Let's use supermarket in a sentence. For example, Yesterday, my mom and I bought some goods at SM Supermarket. Okay, let's have another example of compounding. Here we have school plus bus, and when we join them together, we have school bus. So let's use school bus in a sentence. For example, we have, I prepare riding in a school bus instead of public vehicles. Let's have the second type of word formation processes, which is blending. In blending, we combine two words to coin a word in which both words partly get into each other. Let's differentiate compounding from blending. So, in compounding, when we join two words together, we form a new word that may entirely have a new meaning. While in blending, we blend two words together to literally combine their meaning into one word. Let's have an example of blending. Here we have two words, spoon plus fork. So on the first word, we will only get its first two letters. While on the second word, we will only get its last three letters. So that we can form the new word, which is spork. So let's use spork in a sentence. For example, I usually use spork when I am eating. Let's have another example of blending. Here we have another two words, which is biographical plus picture. So we will only get the first three letters of both words to form the new word, biopic. So let's use biopic in a sentence. For example, I love to take biopic using my camera. So as you notice, in blending, it does not follow any particular rule in blending words. The third type of word formation process is Clipping. Clipping is the word formation in which a word is reduced or shortened without changing the meaning of the word. And also, it abbreviates words to simplify the frivolity of speech. When we say frivolity, it is the lack of seriousness or something that is unnecessary or silly. So let's have the examples of clipping. Let's have the word mathematics. So when we clip mathematics, we get the word math. So let's use math in an example. For example, I always love to solve math problems no matter how complex they are. So let's have another example of clipping. For example, let's have the word preliminary. So when we clip the word preliminary, we get the word prelim. So let's use prelim in a sentence. For example, in our school, we do not have a prelim examination. We have acronymic. Acronymic is the word formation in which a word formed from the initial letter or letters of each of the successive parts. And also, it includes coining new words from a number of words, particularly the first letter or first two letters. So let's have examples of acronyming. For example, the word Tarlac State University. The acronym for Tarlac State University is TSU. So let's use TSU in a sentence. For example, TSU envisions to become a premier university. So let's have another example for acronyming. For example, Philippine Basketball Association. So the acronym for Philippine Basketball Association is PBA. So let's use PBA in a sentence. For example, PBA is one of the trending topics in the social media. We have discussed the four types of word formation process, which are compounding, blending, clipping, and acronyming. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Till next time!